Um, you definitely want to get the the orb attack on on the fiend first uh, before anything. You may, you want to make sure you do that before your ghouls start hitting, so that you're maximizing their damage. Um, also, you know, it, it, it pays to go for a fiend that's near another one so that whenever you nova it, you're going to have uh, two units that are slowed. Uh, Ghost Stop basically uh, pulls a really nice surround on the Death Knight here and uh, uses a, a scroll of healing to keep one of his ghouls from, or well, to keep all of his ghouls from getting killed because they were actually all pretty low. Um, not really much to learn from that. It was just kind of a Gosu moment. Um, and Abver's really, he's trying to get a decent position, um, by, like, continually backing off here, but, uh, he just doesn't really have enough fiends to keep, uh, the gargoyles under control. Um, if he did, if he'd managed to keep more fiends alive in the earlier parts of the game while Ghost Stop was, um, continuously, like, creepjacking his army, um, he'd, he'd probably be having an easier time right now. In fact, he'd, he'd have himself a one game because he's got an expansion up. So um, that that is that to me uh, is is very much uh, where the game is won and lost um, in Undead Mirror, where one player is going ghouls and one player is going gargoyles. Uh, with with you know there may be some drastic exceptions to that rule, but generally, if the ghoul player is successful in creep jacking the fiend user and picking off a lot of his fiends, um, you'll he'll do pretty well. Um, if the fiend user does something stupid like totally sits in the back of his base, um, you're probably gonna have to go creep and try and use try to use like hero levels to your advantage and maybe get an expansion of your own. Um, there's a lot of like um, really annoying strategies like that 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 come up in Undead Mirror. Um, here's another bit of evidence that uh, Ghost Stop was dealing with lag here. Um, he he doesn't quite get the kill on that tower. Um, there was o only had a little bit of life left on it, and I think he probably could have finished it off. But um, really, this kind of fight um, goes against every kind of uh, of, of common sense. Um, y you really don't want to like battle with your opponent's army while you're getting shot by the towers that are defending his expansion. Um, so this kind of aggressive play um, is is generally not recommended. Um, I think it really just boils down to um, Ghost Stop knows he's got a bigger army at this moment uh, because he just won a pretty bad fight, uh, forcing his opponent to tavern revive a Death Knight and then Town Portal out. Um, so he can get away with playing aggressively, but normally, if you're going, uh, if you're going ghoul garg, you do have to be pretty careful around uh, your opponent's towers, and you don't necessarily want to engage him, engage his army while you're being shot by them. But um, you know, if you see the opportunity where you can really go in and just kill all this shit, like Ghost Stop successfully just bombs all of his heroes. Uh, he misses the kill on the Lich here. Once again, I think that was probably um, a lag-induced error more than anything else, but um, he he still uh, is, is doing all right, so I guess he's going to be good-mannered and not complain about it. Speaking of which, um, I, I have to admit to you guys, I had myself a little not-so-good-manner moment. Um, I was playing against an Orc player, and... Uh, beat him pretty soundly in the early game and he responded to this by building a whole shitload of towers outside of my base which was very annoying because it I won anyway but it, it dragged the game out pretty substantially uh, and I told him he was bringing shame to his entire family which I guess in retrospect was a little harsh and also caused him to hide burrows around the map and waste even more of my damn time so you know I should have kept my mouth shut um, Ghost Stop started up a uh, an extra gold mine uh, in the upper right hand corner the, or upper left hand corner of the map. There, that's that was just a, a simple measure of the gold on the map was running out. And um, while he's destroying this expansion, he doesn't really know what Abra's trying to do. Abra could be setting up his own expansion, um, and the game has been you know decently close. So he he's really just wanting to go ahead and and secure his win at this point. Um, he's he's definitely much stronger in terms of hero levels. I mean, if you look at what Abra's got, uh, I think he's got a four Death Knight and a three Lich or a four four, and that is not going to stand up to two level fives and a, and a third hero that is also level four. So uh, this game is pretty much over at this point. Um, 
Important things to learn from this one uh, are if if you were if you're going to be going ghouls against a fiend opponent, um, your your number one goal in life is to take out as many of his fiends as possible in the early parts of the game, through uh, through creep jacking and such. Either that or just creep jack him so much that he finally gives up and hides in his base. Um, you you really you want to stay building ghouls as long as possible. I really don't recommend. Um, starting to pump gargs as soon as you get tier two if you're going after a fiend user um there it, you, you can do some clever stuff in in terms of like like i said harassing his base uh while he's out creeping and things like that but all in all i think it uh the risk really just doesn't uh or the reward doesn't outweigh the risks it's really better to to tech and to um, keep making sure you have like a real solid ghoul army because that's another important thing is to make sure you're playing with enough ghouls like you need like 10 or more because some of them are going to die to focus fire um, you need enough to so that you can really kind of swarm up on his army of fiends once you hit tier 3 and get frenzy and an orb of corruption um, and, and really start like taking quite a few of them out so um, just uh, keep those two things in mind um, that that build order that Avery used um, for for you fiend people, um, try it out. I I actually really like it. I, I've used it a bit myself, um, and I think it's it's pretty solid. I don't, I don't think there's any real risk of being rushed. I mean, if you know if you see you're gonna have to keep an eye out. Of course, if you see your opponent doing something like going uh, double crypt in the early game, um, two spirit towers will really just kick the shit out of that. Um, that is the main reason I don't think double crypt r rushes are a good idea, especially against uh, f against fiend users. Is that if they're if they're wise to it, um, those two spirit towers are going to kill off more of your ghouls. Uh, it's going to kill off a lot of ghouls, and the and the crypt and the dual crypt rush is not going to work. You're just going to end up feeding your opponent a whole lot of experience. Um, I know I was a little bit sloppy on this one. I apologize for that. Um, I know I'm always making this excuse, and so is pretty much every audio commentator. But uh, I haven't had a lot of time on my hands lately. Um, for all of those of you that have like posted in my profile and stuff and told me that you're really looking forward to my next audio and stuff like that, I have to say I really appreciate that. Um, uh, for those of you that have done member audios and stuff like that, um, y you might understand what I'm coming from here. Uh, after about like the tenth one, making audios kind of ceases to be fun for its own sake, um, and it, it, you know it, it's something that. After that, it kind of becomes more something that you're doing to give back to the community and the site and stuff. So um, the appreciation that I get from you guys uh, for doing these things is yeah, really a lot of what makes it worth it. So um, I, I really appreciate you guys letting me know that you enjoyed it and stuff like that. So um, that's really all, uh, all I have to say about this one. Uh, I hope it's been informative and everything to you. Uh, the music from this audio commentary is anime soundtracks, because I'm in an anime soundtrack mood. The uh, intro is called by a band called the Beat Crusaders, and it's from the anime Beck. The song is called Hit in the USA. Um, and the ending music is from Lunar Legend Tsukihime. It's by Toshiyuki Omori, and the name of the song is The Sacred Moon. Uh, so I hope you guys thought those were pretty cool. Those are actually both incredibly good anime. Um, depending on your taste, uh, Beck is kind of a love it or hate it sort of thing. It's partly a matter of how much English you can stand, and uh, the, the plot can be a little slow moving, but it's one of the most absorbing uh, and fun, I think, anime that I've seen in a long time. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. So uh, this is Frey signing out. <laughs>